Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to continue talking about IO in C sharp. Uh, I'm going to dive deeper into this subject. So let's get started by creating a stream writer, stream writer. Uh, and we're gonna exp I'm going to explain to you guys what exactly we're going to do. So as you guys can see here, we have an override, override called stream stream which means that this initialization, this instance argument accepts a stream on objects. So we're gonna pass this stream object to this stream writer so we can write uh, to this file or to a file. So let's get started by creating a file stream, which a stream is basically a, a, a stream of, file, of data, in which you guys can think of a way to kind of work with data. So let's uh, let's call a stream. Okay, let's create a new file stream. So there is a lot of things here, you guys. Need to to see the first argument we're gonna pass is the file name. Let's call file eleven txt. Okay, the first argument. The second is the file access, which is a enumerator. Let's uh go with file access dot write to write to a, a new file and we have the file mode file mode dot create because we're gonna create a new file so this is our basically the arguments that we need to create a a new file stream so let's pass a stream to our writer instance this way now we can write some text. Let's use the right red line. Uh, this is a line. And let's writer dot right line. This is other line. Okay. Now let's close both of those. Both of those objects. Stream dot close. Okay. I'm going to execute using control F5. F5. Okay. As you guys can see here. Okay. There is some invalid, invalid arguments. Okay. I see that we need to do this in the right order. File, file mode. Dot create file file access dot right okay you guys need to pay attention to the order okay so that was that was a good good example let's go back to the folder in which this solution is being saved console application three okay let me let me go there so you guys can see we have file 11 and we have this text, okay? So, this is a high level usage of these um, classes, of these two classes. Uh, the main thing here is that if you guys use these, it's much easier to append text to an existing file. Otherwise, it would be, it would be very difficult to do so. So there are some cases in which you guys would definitely want to use this and the file stream doesn't only work for text, okay? It works for files in general, but we are wrapping around uh, the stream writer to work with text, okay? So this is the first part. Let's go to the second part. Now, let's create a new file stream. You guys can call, could call this um, FS, a abbreviation let's call file 11 file 11 b.txt file mode dot create new let's try this out and file access dot write and they also have file share dot let's say none okay so we have this this uh, overwrite here so now we're gonna use a different method. 
which is a little bit we are already quite familiar with this let's create a byte array let's call uh, text data which is going to be equal encoding dot otf8 dot get bytes let's write some some text two bytes okay two bytes okay there we go let's now okay so i guess you can see here we have this uh file string object we have this byte array and this file stream object basically works very well with data okay to work with data and to write this data into this file stream we need to use a method called write okay uh, and we can choose exactly how many bytes we want to to write so i'm going to write this entire array into this fs object so we got, let's go with fs.write we pass our array text data starting from byte of on index 0 to the last so we're going to do text let me go back here text data dot length to get the full array and now we can do fs dot close okay let's execute let's go back to the folder we have this file 11b and you guys can see that we wrote that that text here so let's say that i just want to write uh, four bytes which means that we're gonna write the first four characters so if we run this way uh, okay because the file already exists okay so okay, you guys need to pay attention to this because if you use create new if you guys already have a file it it will throw an error let's just use another one let's use create which i think it won't it wouldn't work just fine so if you come back we all we now only have four bytes which was expected because we only wrote four bytes into this uh, file so you guys can see that if you are looping through an array you guys can use this to efficiently write slices of data into a in a into a file so now we're gonna finish this video by using disposal or the using directive which is very useful so sometimes we forget to close or to dispose objects in c sharp that is a that's something that um usually occurs and that's not good because that causes inefficiency and your program may collect a uh, huge amounts of data so if you don't want to call the garbage collector using this method that we're going to show you guys can be very helpful because it automatically uh, disposes the the object itself so to do this you guys need to use using okay and let's create a file stream object let's create here file uh, 11 c.txt let's file mode dot create file access dot right so this is called the using directive okay we can use as many as uh, directives as we want so I'm gonna use the file stream not file share file stream and file stream so i'm gonna use the file stream and also i'm gonna use the the stream writer let's go back here stream writer writer well equals new stream writer okay so we need to put the body of this so i guess you can see here 
we have these two directives. We could have more. So what I want to do, what I want to do is basically use this block here. So everything, everything that is inside of these two brackets, color brackets, is going to be dip, disposed after I run that, that piece of code. So let's just write some lines here. Writer.write line. Some new text. Some new text. Okay. Some new text and writer.write line. Other text. Okay. And I do, the good thing is that I don't need to write to, to call uh, writer.close and fs.close because as I said before, this is done automatically. So no need to do that. Let's execute. And there we go. Let's go back to the folder. You guys can see we have file C, uh, file 11C. So we, we've, write, we've wrote that text into these files. So you guys can think of this as a more efficient way of doing things. So if, if, I, if I were you guys, I should consider this over the other ones, but for the sake of teaching, I need to show you guys how to do both ways, okay? So this was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you guys can definitely hit the subscribe button and the like button. It would be very helpful. So there you go. Uh, see you guys next time.